opportunity does not knock, it presents itself when you beat down the door. The motivational words of American actor Carl Chandler. They reflect the decades of opportunities that Nigeria has missed to take agriculture to the next level. From a major world player in the production of several cash crops like cocoa, rubber, groundnut, cotton and palm produce, Nigeria has become a major importer of not just the byproducts of these crops but also the raw agricultural produce. Consumers, Nigerians here and abroad, live to enjoy these exports and may Nigeria continue to live in peace. Amen. Amen. All this for us in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Nigeria recently began formal export of yam to the United States and Europe. This is an opportunity that has passed the country by for decades as the world's largest producer of yam. The country prided herself as the largest producer of yam in the world, but Ghana, which has less than a quarter of Nigeria's production capacity, has continued to reign as the world's largest exporter. At best, yam export has been informal and unregulated. Now that Nigeria has formally entered the yam export market, chances are that the equation is about to change. That is, if the challenges of quality seedlings, farm imputes such as mechanical plows, storage and transportation facilities, as well as access to credit and effective quality control, bedeviling yam production and export are quickly tackled. On Farmer's Market this week, we'll look at the social, cultural and economic importance of yam as well as the challenges that have dogged the production of the tubers against the background of Nigeria's formal entrance into the yam export market. Farmer's Market a program that promotes Nigeria's agricultural prowess, identifies the challenges besetting the sector, and advocates policies and programs that will help grow Nigeria's agroeconomy. Opportunity comes, sometimes but once, so they say. And therefore, it is therefore incumbent on government to look at ways of sustaining the approach, sustaining the opportunity, sustaining the window and keep it open. In fact, make the window become a door. Varieties of highly nutritious rice in a bakaliki of fada Kano. Yet Nigeria wastes billions on rice importation. Cocoa in the southwest, and yet top dollar is spent on imported chocolate and beverages. Fruits rot in Benue, Nasarawa Kogi, yet imported juice line the shops. 82 million hectares of rich arable land, yet no jobs, and food insecurity threatens. Arian wealth is in farming, livestock, hatcheries, fisheries, horticulture. And forestry. It's time to act different. Time to bring Nigerian farmers to the market. Farmers Market, growing Nigeria's agroeconomy. Showing every Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. and Thursdays at 9.30 a.m. on AIT. Yam. A staple crop in Nigeria and most countries of West Africa. Yam is high in carbohydrate and can be eaten in various forms, boiled, pounded, roasted, fried and even as soups. Its high carbohydrate content provides energy for consumers, especially local farmers who still engage in manual tilling. The tuber is produced in almost 30 of Nigeria's 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory, 
in vast areas of the country covering many agroecological zones from the coastal region in rainforests, wood savanna to the southern savanna habitats. This is probably why Nigeria is unrivaled in the production of yam. Go to Taraba, go to Nasarawa State, go to Benue State, AFCT here. They produce quite a huge number. They have a capacity to produce the kind of the quantity of yam that can feed the population and feed us to the exports. This is Ukum local government area of Benue State. Its headquarters is Zakibiam. Zakibiam is also the headquarters of yam production in Benue State. The yam market in Zakibiam. It is not even market day, but the heaps of yam tell the story. Here, loading yam tubers into trucks for transportation to places as far flung as Lagos is an art. Tuku is a middleman. He buys yam from Zakibiam and sells in Lagos. This truck, this truck is from Kurubi, from A.A. Atish. You hear? Eight people, you cut this truck. Any one person, you get one coach. But yam is too cost now. The money I buy one coach now, before I buy full truck. I'm telling you true. Before, if I come this place, uh, you, you have 1.5 million. 1.5. You have one truck. But now, if it came from 1.5, you buy only one coach. It's, a yam is too coarse, it's too high. Yam was sell before 20,000 naira. Now it's still 120,000 naira. In 1993, global yam production was estimated at 28.1 million tons. 96% of these came from West Africa. The main producers being Nigeria with 71%. Côte d'Ivoire, 8.1%, Benin Republic, 4.3%, and Ghana, 3.5%. Since 2012, available figures show that Nigeria's production has been on a steady increase. In 2014, an estimated 45 million metric tons of yam was produced on over 5.4 million hectares of farmland and the production per hectare was put at 8 metric tons. This was an increase over the 2013 figure of 35 million metric tons and the 2012 production of 32 million metric tons. In Nigeria, yam is more than just a staple food crop. The tuba is regarded as a king of crops, especially because of its social, cultural, and now growing economic importance. There's a celebration in almost all parts of the country when new yam is harvested. It is called the New Yam Festival. A symbolic celebration of plenty after a period of hunger and austerity. Celebration of our, our sons and daughters or the community having survived a period of hunger. You know, in this part of the country, we have our planting season. In January, February, from December of this year to, to February next year, it will be planting season. All the yams that are harvested will start planting them. So between the month of March, April, May, June, in those days before the discovery of cassava, there used to be hunger in the land. So in August, when the new yams comes up, our people celebrate. The celebration of importance of a tuba, which is like an enigma to the people, which is like the principal crop to the people, which is like, if it is not there, there is no other food. I remember when we were growing up, that the day I don't eat yam, or the day I don't swallow panderiam, it was like everybody had gone to, the be to bed hungry. 
In different parts of the country, the New Year Festival marked the end of a farming season and the beginning of another. The age-long celebration of New Year has become a social cultural event. The pomp and pageantry with which it is celebrated attracts local and foreign tourists to the localities. In parts of Cross River State, the celebration provides an opportunity for maidens to meet suitors. Christians celebrate New Year Festival with church services. The traditional worshippers do the same at their shrines. The idea is that the yam that comes to church and goes back to the house, then blesses other yams at home. Uh, so that's why they bring three yams to the church. After the blessing, they keep one for the priest and take the other one to the house, which they believe will then connect with other yams at home to bless their entire produce. Despite the social and cultural importance of yam to Nigeria, and the fact that Nigeria produces almost three quarters of the world's total yam output, the country does not enjoy any benefit in the export market. In fact, Ghana, which produces just about 20% of Nigeria's total output and ranked third in global yam production, is ironically the largest exporter of yam in the world. Ghana's yam export trade creates jobs for over a million people. The country's export volumes for 2014 stood at $18.8 million, while 2013 export figure was about $20 million. As local and foreign demand for yam in both fresh and processed forms increases, Ghana's national yam development strategy is to target a revenue of 5 billion US dollars by 2018. Nigerians here and abroad live to enjoy these exports and may Nigeria continue to live in peace. Amen. On Thursday, 29th June 2017, Nigeria initiated action to change the course of yam production by flagging off the official export of yam to Europe and the United States as part of moves to diversify the country's oil-dependent economy and earn much needed foreign exchange. I consider today's event another giant step in our quest to grow the Nigerian economy, and in particular the agricultural sector, towards achieving the diversification of the productive and revenue base of the nation's national economy and conservation of our foreign reserve by limiting our appetite for importation of food and other products that we have obvious comparative advantage in producing locally, while stemming the effect of perennially declining oil prices and the devaluation of our currency. Yam is the preferred staple food in West Africa. It is consumed by a combined population of about 300 million people worldwide. It is therefore a crop with a high potential. Yam export is not exactly a novelty in Nigeria, but it has been done informally, on a very low scale and without any official regulation. In fact, a large chunk of yam exported from Ghana originates from Nigeria. Before the commencement of uh, this first tranche of uh, exportation of uh, 72, 72 metric tons of uh, yam to U.S. and the U.K., Nigerian farmers and businessmen export yams that were produced in Nigeria to Ghana and it was packaged in Ghana and then exported to other countries. As a result of that, Ghana exports 100 containers of uh, yam 
journey to other uh, parts of the world. So what we are doing now is we are taking back what rightly belongs to us. Instead of now taking it for Ghana, for Ghana to export it, we are now taking charge and then exporting it out ourselves so that uh, we will earn the much needed uh, foreign exchange. Now that Nigeria has taken interest in the export of the tubers, Yam looks set to join the long list of Nigeria's cash crops with benefits accruing to the local farmers. What this particular um, breakthrough, as I would say, is going to cause for Nigeria is that it's going to trigger increased productivity of the yam because um, a whole lot of farmers will now, uh, because of the possibility of getting foreign exchange from the export of yam, they'll go into more production of yam. Um, essentially because over the years we've only been cultivating yam for um, satisfying domestic uh, food needs. So, um, based on the potential of any foreign exchange, for me, um, I see a situation where um, yam productivity will double or even triple. Though, um, within, this space, um, within this space of time, there might be some kind of uh, price hike temporary price hike of yam in the market but from next year while you know we begin to harvest and cultivate again so it's going to cause um, an increase in productivity one of the fears of some yam loving nigerians is that export of yam would mean scarcity or high cost of the staple in nigeria we are the largest producers of tuber in the world. So I assure you that uh, even if we export, we still have more than enough for our local consumption. To achieve success in exporting yam and growing the crop's value chain, the challenges besetting yam production in Nigeria must be tackled, and there are many. Manual labor is one of them. Others are inputs like fertilizer and pesticides. Bad roads make transportation of the tubers costly, while absence of storage facilities leads to wastage. Only about 5% of it is processed. The remaining is consumed fresh. And therefore, the storage, and we also have results to show that the depreciation due to poor storage facility is high. That is, if you keep a 10 kg, a, a 5 kilogram yarn now, after three months, if you weigh it, it will come back to about 2.5 kg. Yeah. So what that means is that the water content is depreciating and uh, all other nutrients accordingly. If you didn't sell it, or you, 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 if you don't want to sell it, but no way that you, you keep it long because it's just a warm out new product will come out and if you see this here now it dried there is no water inside so when the water finish if it gets heat it will just spoil so I advise government we aid us to bring industry or to give us a, a role so that we help us boss this far to the standard level. One of the biggest challenges of yam export will be that of quality control, given the fact that Nigeria's agricultural produce, like beans, have been rejected by European countries in recent times. The issue of standard quality control should not be joked with. And this is where these agencies, NAVDAG, Quarantine, whichever agencies that will come up with, and I learned that they are setting up a committee responsible for this, and we have advocated that there should be a single window, one-stop shop approach for facilitating this export so that 
there will be no impediment whatsoever. Right from the farm gate to the sea. Opportunity comes sometimes but once, so they say. And therefore, it is therefore independent government to look at ways of sustaining the approach, sustaining the opportunity, sustaining the window and keep it open. In fact, make the window become a door. Well, I want to advise uh, farmers, you know, to ensure that any agricultural produce that they want to export, they should get in touch with quarantine. Of recent, so many other government agencies are coming out and issuing certificates. And those certificates are not recognized by the international, uh, international trade. And most of those commodities are being rejected. I just received notice on the 24th, uh, a government agency that has no duty at all certifying uh, agricultural produce issued a certificate to an exporter. And that consignment has now been intercepted and destroyed. So that is loss. So I want to encourage farmers to approach quarantine for any agricultural produce they want to uh, export because we have the certificate you know, to issue to cover for such and our certificates are recognized. Secondly, there are specific standards for exporting each commodity. Some is the moisture, moisture content, some is how dry it is, some how fresh or fleshy, some is just the color, some whether it is rottenness or microbial infection or fungal infection or chemical pesticides. Once they come, we'll take them through all this. So that even before they think of packaging it and bringing it to the export desk for a certification, they will know exactly what they should have done. So that virtually whatever they bring to us will be certified. The other challenge is that of research and development of the tuber to achieve high yielding varieties that are acceptable globally. Government must be ready to provide all the subsidy that is required. And I'm using this word subsidy in a blunt manner. Because, you know, a lot of people shy away from it. And they will refer you to, it. you know, WTO provisions against subsidy. But most of these people also forget that most of the developed countries, America, Europe, Canada, Japan, they are using subsidies also. And they have both import subsidy, I mean, local subsidy and export subsidy. They subsidize their farmers. And therefore, whatever name you give it, the growth enhancement scheme, for instance, should also begin to be extended to YAM now. In fact, if there are opportunities, if there are inputs, and I've talked about that earlier, look at the YAM seedling, the seeds, look at varieties or species that are exportable let's begin to look at that now and such will be what government will do but apart from that government will also need to promote this so that the farmer the rural farmer in one community condemned community there will find a way of knowing that look there is a window of opportunity there. if well managed Nigeria's king of crops may just be a veritable source of foreign exchange too. That's Farmer's Market for this week. You can join the conversation or watch this program and other editions of Farmer's Market whenever you want to. Just go to our website, www.farmersmarketng.com. For feedback and sponsorship considerations, please contact us on 0809-566-0090. Email us on info at farmersmarketng.com. Follow us on Twitter at FarmersMarketNG and like our Facebook page, it's Facebook dot com forward slash farmers market ng farmers market returns same time same station next week